From Syracuse Superstar to the LCS, I'm joined by Azingi, who everyone knows uh, as maybe originally as the the nemesis to Odd One. Now he's here in the LCS and just won a game. Azingi, what what has it been like joining Dignitas and coming into the LCS? Uh, it's been um, it's been okay. Like uh, I, I think we can start to do better now. I think we're starting to improve. Um, we didn't have that many wins earlier, but uh, with this uh, team impulse win, it uh, seems to uh, be a good sign. How did your joining Dignitas come about? Like, what what was that? Were you looking for an LCS team? Did they just scout you out? Like, how'd that happen? I wasn't looking for an LCS team, but um, I, I guess they were looking for a jungler. So um, they asked me to try out, and then um, we tried. Uh, they tried me out in a few scrims, and then they told me to. Um, Go ahead and uh, join their team, I guess. Was this something that you had wanted? Like, had you wanted? Because, I mean, I, again, you've been well-known in the community for a while, but uh, maybe not as, like, a professional player. Is this something that you've been wanting f uh, for a while? Oh, yeah. I, I definitely think, like, most people in, or pretty much everyone in um, uh, Diamond 1 or higher, they would love to uh, play in the LCS. Yeah. Did you have to break? Well, I mean, what was your life like before... You came into this was it like did you have to because obviously it's a big thing to move to california and join a team like and also the way these things tend to work it's like all of a sudden like boom you're in so what what was the process like of, of leaving your past life and coming here uh it wasn't that bad i did some college and then i tried streaming a little bit uh not much yeah, yeah. and so that's kind of where you were and then you you joined up here uh, what do you think of the rest of the guys on the team? Like, how have you been getting along with them? Uh, I, I like the team. It's pretty nice. Uh, Odie just tweeted something like, I always like summer more than spring anyway. So what, what he said, I always enjoyed summer more than spring anyway, kind of making an allusion to summer split as opposed to spring split, right? So uh, where do you think Ding Toss is headed, you know, after as, as we transition over into summer split? Um, like in terms of performance, yeah. uh, I think, I think we'll do better. Like, I, I, I feel like, um, I feel like we're catching up to the other teams. Yeah. So yeah, we'll see. Cause I haven't, I, I really haven't played that many games with the team yet. Like, uh, I, I guess we played seven so far. So, um, I guess we can play some more games and see, uh, how we perform yeah. for you. I, I mean, even now you have Sammy as the coach and that kind of thing. And obviously I, he was, you guys kind of entered around the same time, and especially in the longer look at Dignitas history. But uh, what has it been like, you know, even just coming into a team where there's like the support staff and there's like a coach and all these people there to try to help you guys out? Uh, hmm. It's it's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, wait, can you rephrase it? Yeah, sure. Like, I, for me, you sort of. You, you had this sort of solo queue environment or you're doing streams. And then I know that you sort of competed in, in tournaments and stuff in the past, but here you're like in a team house and you've got uh, all these people here to try to help sure, make sure that you succeed. You've got like a coach and there's analysts and all that kind of thing. So uh, what has that been like for you having all, all these people that are sort of around you to make sure that you succeed as a, opposed to the past where it was all kind of on you? Oh, it's, it's it's really nice. Um, like if you're going from uh, uh, like if if you just play solo queue and you've just been in the amateur scene, like going from the amateur scene to the pro scene is very different. And uh, with the game knowledge that the staff helps give me, it um, definitely helps me um, learn a lot more. Do you think like you've gotten significantly better since joining Dig? Uh, oh yeah, like but when I first came, it was so confusing. Their play style is like or just like any team in the professional team, they'll have a play style that's um, hard to get used to. And then, um, yeah, I think I'm getting used to it. Any funny stories or anything like that joining Dig or moving into the house? Anything that surprised you? Uh, hmm, nothing comes to mind. Okay. But I mean, p people talk about how Dig is oftentimes it's got a lot of trolls on it, especially back in the Cutie Pie days, right? But do you find that any of the guys on the team are kind of trolly or Kiwi Kid or any you guys ever go get dinner and people are just silly or anything like that? Yeah, I, I guess sometimes. Thank you so much, uh, Singy, for the interview. Is there anything that you'd like to say to any of the fans or, or whoever out there? Thanks to my uh, fans and sponsors for support. Yeah. Well, thank you so much again. For everyone else, you can check out the rest of our coverage of all things LCS at OnGamers.com.